Oh, what's up you guys? Scott here from Scott Help and today I'm going to be showing you the very simple tutorial of how to keep your green objects inside a green screen. When it comes to green screen, the number one rule is to not wear green unless you want to end up with a floating head. But there are ways to get around this. Today I'm going to show you how to avoid a situation from looking like this to make your video look more like this. Let's jump right into the tutorial. Open your view by pressing Ctrl I and drag it into the new composition icon. Go to the point where your green object appears on screen. Now go to the effects and presets and type key light and drag this effect on top of your video. This will allow your background to be removed. Select the eyedropper tool and click on the green backdrop. It doesn't matter if your object is removed. Then go to view and select screen mat. This way the video will not have any random particles accidentally removed or added. Go to screen mat and adjust the clip black and clip white until there is a solid contrast between what is and isn't going to be in the video. Whatever is black will not appear in the video, but anything white, even a spectacle, will appear and make the video look bad, and vice versa for any black particle on a white object. I've kept a few of these particles to show you what it will look like. When you are finished, increase the screen softness to around 1.3 so that the edges aren't so harsh. Then go back to view and select final results so you can see the final product. As you see, there are random gray spectacles on the green screen. This was the white particles that were not removed, as well as black spectacles on my shirt. This is what happens when the clip black is too hot, thus removing parts of the object that is not supposed to be chromed out. We will fix this in a moment, but for now we'll restore the green object that was chromed out. Select your video and then press Ctrl D to duplicate the clip. Then in the effects controls, disable key light by pressing the effects icon. This will allow a fresh start to edit in what you want to keep. Now select the pen tool or press G to start masking out the item you want to keep. When drawing the mask, you can hold the next point in order to curve it, and you can move the two opposite ends in order to adjust it. When you are finished, select the layer and press F to feather the mask. If your entire background is not green screen, select the bomb layer and draw a mask around the shape of your green area. Now insert whatever background you want and place this underneath the bomb layer. To fix the particle problem, we need to adjust the middle layer's mask until there's no more random specs. Then press Ctrl D on this layer to duplicate it and place it on the very top. Open up the mask properties by pressing M, then flip the vertices on the mask from one end to the other. Then go to the effects control for this layer and reset the key light. Select the green in this layer and repeat the process of adjusting the screen mat to the best of your abilities. Don't forget to switch back to final result when you're finished. If there is still an issue, duplicate the layer, reset the key light, and delete the mask. Then draw a new one close to the outline of your subject. Here I am adjusting the mask of this layer so that the wall is not visible. If any unwanted objects are in your shot, adjust the mask and don't forget to keyframe it if necessary. I have made a separate masking tutorial just in case you are confused about any of this, but you can always leave any questions in the comment section below. That's the end of this tutorial. If this video helped, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.